Hey guys, so today we're talking more about enzymes. Now we've already watched one video on enzymes, which you can find linked here, um, but this is going to be more about practice. So our objectives for learning about enzymes here are explaining the roles of enzymes as, um, as catalysts that lower the activation energy of biochemical reactions. And we need to identify factors like pH and temperature um, and how they affect enzymes in their enzymatic activity. And of course, today we're mostly going to focus on practice questions um, so we can answer questions having to do with enzymes quickly and easily. Okay, so again, just to review how enzymes work, um, enzymes are special molecules. Remember, enzymes are types of proteins, and um, proteins, of course, are made of amino acids. And the enzyme structure is very special in that it fits with a specific substrate. And that enzyme substrate complex together will then initiate some sort of reaction, whether or not that's changing the substrate into a new product or breaking the product in two, or sometimes even linking two molecules together. Um, and Chemically, we have enzymes lowering the activation energy of a reaction. So you see this, whoops, oh no, went too far. See this graph here shows how the reaction, how much energy it would take. It would take a lot of energy without the catalyst, without the enzyme. But with the enzyme, you see that the, uh, the uh, energy is lowered. And then after the reaction occurs, we have um, uh, our lowest level of energy. But this is the progress of the reaction. Before the reaction starts, the energy it would take to get this reaction to happen without the enzyme, the energy it actually takes with the enzyme, we can see how this activation energy is lowered. Okay. So do not forget ever, enzymes are proteins. So that means they are made of amino acids, and they have the same characteristics as any other prote protein would um, when we're talking about our organic compounds. All right, let's do our first practice question. Baby food manufacturers sometimes use proteases in their products. Proteases catalyze the breakdown of the proteins in these food, making digestion easier for infants. Proteases are which type of the following types, uh, or which of the following types of molecules? All right, we've got our four different types of organic compounds that we've studied. Even if you don't know that enzymes commonly end in ASE, we can easily identify this word even though we don't know what it is because it ends in ACE as an enzyme, we also know that something that is a catalyst is an enzyme and something that breaks something down is an enzyme too. So that's three clues that lead us to the answer enzyme, even if you didn't know what protease was. All right. Some bacteria live in hot springs. Their cells contain enzymes that function best at temperatures of 70 degrees Celsius or higher. At the temperature of 50 degrees Celsius, how will the enzymes in these bacterial cells most likely be affected? Now remember, as things go cooler, the enzyme may not move as quickly. Um, there will just be less random movement of these molecules, but also because the enzyme functions best at 70 degrees Celsius, um, it's probably not going to function as well and it won't do its job as well. So the best answer here is that the enzymes will not increase the rate of reactions as much as they would at 70 degrees Celsius. So they're not going to do their job as well when the temperature isn't at that optimum temperature that the enzyme needs. All right. Moving forward, many of the proteins in the human body are enzymes that catalyze chemical reactions. What is the relationship between enzymes and activation energy? We just talked about this. When an enzyme catalyzes a reaction, it increases the activation energy. When an enzyme catalyzes a re reaction, it increases the activation energy of the product. When an enzyme catalyzes a reaction, it decreases the activation energy of the reaction. When an enzyme catalyzes a reaction, it does not affect the activation energy of the reaction. Two, we already talked about this. When an enzyme catalyzes a reaction, it decreases the activation energy of the reaction. You need to know this and take a look at that first diagram we looked at if you need to review this again. The graph below, or to the side, shows the activity of an enzyme uh, changes over a range of pH values. So here's the graph. Which of the following conclusions can be drawn from this graph? So we look up here, we have enzyme activity. Um, we have the percent of maximum activity. We got 100%, we've got maximum activity right at this pH of 6.6. .6. So let's look at our answer. The optimum pH of the enzyme is 6.6. .6. The optimum pH of the enzyme is 5.8. I'm not gonna read the rest of the answers. Uh, I guess we can. The enzyme's activity continually increases pH from 5.0 to 9.0. That's not true because the activity starts to go down after it hits its optimum at 6.6. .6. The enzyme's activity is greater around pH of 8 than around pH of 5. Let's take a look. Greater around pH of 8 than pH of 5. Nope, that is incorrect. Our best answer is optimum pH. So even if you didn't know what optimum was, you could pretty much guess that the highest point on this graph matches up with pH 6.6, .6, and that is where the enzyme does its job best. Enzymes are which type of bi biological molecule? And if you remember nothing else from this video, I do want you to walk away to answer this question. Enzymes are proteins. 
Okay, um, hopefully you got all these practice answers in your notes, and you can use these questions to help you study for um, your organic compounds assessment. All right, see you later.